the transmission guy built the converter has no idea how much horsepower you got in your motor. Okay. It's just a guess. So can't blame anybody. It's, and that's where trial and error might come Absolutely. in? Absolutely. Okay. So some of the race car guys, when we used to race the automatic transmissions, the power glides and stuff, I don't know how many converters we had. Every time we changed injectors or changed something on it, even tire size. And we had to change the converter to get back where we were before. Wow. Converters aren't cheap. You can get somebody to give them to you. So it'd be similar to that, that track car you had where you had all these different cartons of different differential ratios. Yeah, yeah, gear you do the same thing uh, with converters? Yeah, same way, yeah. Okay, you'd have a whole And now they have the converter, which is an awesome idea to save money, with a whole bunch of bolts around it, and they take it apart. And you change the stator. Okay. Instead of the whole converter. Okay. We've got that in our car right now. I see. Whereas a normal OEM factory thing, it's all sealed it's up. It's welded. Yeah. And that's what he was talking about then. Okay. The so converters or something else, you can't blame anybody. Okay. It's, all, it's a, just a guess. Okay. Good question. That is a great question. Yeah, yeah. And uh, to you who's concerned that there's an exaggeration, now you know the, yeah. the likely story, actually.